I'm sorry. Me dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Follow my lead. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Carlo Grimaldi. Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo quickly became a key guest at the tables of Venetian nobility. While his reputation for discretion earned him entrance into the back rooms. Here's how the old bastard ended up in the Council of Ten. While visiting the head of the council, Ignacio Contarini, Carlo ran into Ignacio's daughter. Desperate for help and aware of Carlo's trustworthy reputation, she confided in him. Her father had arranged her marriage, but she wanted to run away with the son of one of the servants. They'd been in love since they were children, and they planned to start a new life in Milan where they could be free of her father. Carlo suggested immediate action, an escape by ship that night. The two lovers followed his instructions, and as they climbed the gangplank, they were free. That is, until Ignazio appeared on deck. Carlo was rewarded for his loyalty to the Contarini family. While true love, well, see for yourself. I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Enzio. You flew! See, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look, let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this pezzo di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, que idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry, I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Ago. My wife is going to murder me if I miss dinner again. Hey, Katie Frege. Just go. It's not like we're guarding the doji. What the hell are we guarding anyway? Wait. A shipment from China. Some kind of... Ah! Oh. Getting away! Ah. Get oh.
It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Si. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late. The doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, signore. But you should have listened to me when you have the chance. Since you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the doge! The doge is dead! One assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! Who requires bleeding? At the top. 